All right, those who know me know that I love me some cast iron pots and pans. And if you follow me on Instagram, I talk about this all the time. And I've said many times I definitely want to build my collection. Uh, I just recently received the Staub cast iron, la what's it, this is a la, la coquette, coquette? I would say um during the black friday sale and i got another one for christmas which i love all right um and i had my le creuset one from last year christmas i got that for christmas so I'm, my husband's on on the on the thing and i said it and he listened i'm so happy i was like i want one every year for christmas and he's following through i got this last year and i got the other black one um this year for christmas which is not in this video but i've showed him on instagram once again follow me so you're you in the know. Now to do a comparison, right? Pros and cons of both. So let's start with the Le Creuset. It's definitely lighter than the Stub. Don't get me wrong, cast iron is heavy, period. But this is lighter than the Stub. The Stub is way heavier, you know? It is easier to clean because it has the enamel in the inside. I know when you see, you see the burnt marks, that's when I made popcorn and I put olive oil in the burnt. However, one thing I like about the Le Creuset is they do have a special soap they can use to wipe away or clean out burnt marks, which I wanna get. It's on Amazon for like $22. I would definitely be ordering that. But prior to that burn for the popcorn, listen, when I burn meat or anything like that, it was like, easy to clean. I put some water and soap, let it sit for about, about an hour or 30 minutes, wipe it clean, right? And it stays white, you know, with any type of burns. So that's another pros for the Le Creuset. They have beautiful, vibrant colors. There's a, this color called Caribbean. I want, there's like this nice mint green one. It's gorgeous. They have really, really vibrant colors. So imagine that in your kitchen, it's like, whoa. And they have beautiful yellow, orange, obviously this one's called the flame. You have teals like when i say they have an array of colors they have an array of colors so i love how vibrant their colors are right so i love that now for the cons for the le creuset the con one of the con is is more expensive like than the stub it's like they're both expensive but le creuset could run you another hundred or two it's more of a popular one um but you know um if you're on a budget, if you're going to splurge a certain amount of money, I would definitely say try the stub. It's a little bit cheaper. But if you have the funds to do it, it would not hurt to also get yourself a Lake Rosé. Another con is because it's white. That's really why I looked into the stub. Because it's white, I make curry chicken. I use turmeric a lot in my cooking. And I was afraid to use turmeric in my cooking with this um, Lake Rosé. I love it for the look. It looked beautiful, but... I'm afraid to cook certain meals in it because I'm afraid it's going to um, stain. So that's another con. Another con too is, and I didn't realize this until I got my stub and I did a comparison. This knob, because it's metal, it gets hot. It gets hot. So you need like a napkin or some type of glove to pick or open things, uh, open up the pot. But it gets hot. And, and you will see, it don't get as bad as the stub, but it definitely gets hot. So if you don't know, now you know. Um, get a glove before you open this thing or you're going to burn yourself when you are cooking so it gets like that's the only thing that i don't like I, I, it's beautiful um i see that sometimes they have a gold knob it's gorgeous sometimes i'll be wondering i'll be wishing they could rubberize it but then it would take away the look so it's like you sacrifice uh uh safety for look you know but um yeah that's the only thing it gets hot so careful in terms of the stub as i said it's cheaper in price um so if you're on a budget stub is the way to go Another thing I love about Stub, they have, like, Lakers, they have the vibrant colors. Stub have the rich, rich colors. Look at this blue, like, come through. They have a, a green one that's called Basil. Beautiful green color. Another one that's, uh, it's like a Geraldine type of color. Beautiful red color. They have such beautiful colors. And another thing I love about the richness of the color, it is, another pros is they're so glossy. As you can see, this one is glossier than this, right? So it's like, imagine this in your kitchen. That's really what draws me to the stuff because the colors are gorgeous. It is glossy, like it looks so nice in the kitchen. So that's another pro. It is glossy, the colors are rich, okay? This got, liquids, they got the vibrancy of the colors and this one got the richness of colors, right? So I love this for the richness and the, um, the glossiness of the um, pot. And for some reason, maybe I'm just because of the colors, um, the sizes that I got, it seems as even though not comparing these two, but sometimes 
The Lake Rose, because of the shape, it seems smaller than the stub. Like this is not big of a size, but because of the shape, it could hold a lot. So it seems bigger, right? And you know, because the bigger the size is, the more it costs. So if you're on the budget once again, and you want something that could fit a lot or enough, the stub, because it seems like because of the shape that they shape mostly pots in, it seems bigger than the um which one called the lake crusade and remember the bigger it is the heavier it is so this is already heavy you don't want anything bigger than this because it gets crazy so yeah that's another pro now for the cons about the stuff this thing gets so hot so quick the first time i use it i did not know and it makes sense because it's attached to this so it gets hot and this thing collects the water or the steam and the water and the steam goes back into your food and that help it cook 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 Picker. so I do love that about that and the Lake Rosé doesn't have that as you can see so that's another thing but um because of this this baby gets so hot I burned the crap out of myself the first time I use it I'm like oh snappy snap and it made me compare like I don't remember ever getting burned by the knob from the Lake Rosé and then I cut the in the Lake Rosé and I realized it gets hot too but not as bad as this I don't know if because of the um finishing I don't know Cause they're both metal but this one is glossier than this but it gets really hot that's another con that i do not like it's very heavy it is very 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 heavy um it's way heavier than this um i forgot how many pounds this one is but it's heavy it's heavy so if you know you got chicken hands and chicken wrists then your wrist can't handle <laughs> they're both heavy but this is lighter this gets really this is like iron okay it gets heavy so that's another con about the stub but this one it seems to burn quicker than the um le creuse i don't know it's because of the enamel and they're both enamel finish but it seems like this it takes a little while for it to burn it burns if like obviously my my, my fire is on high but still take a little bit quicker to burn but this one seems like burns quicker and that's one con and another con too is like it seems like it's harder to clean both the outside and the inside like you have to really really scrub 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 it out um like i burned the new one i got i burned i was making lamb and i was doing school until totally i forgot about to burn it i had to scrub for a little bit and i know that even with this i could just put water some soap let it sit for a little bit and it was easy it would have just came off so i guess because it's still a little bit more in terms of it's not as it don't seem like it's as enameled as the lake was it so i guess it's a little bit more raw and it holds stuff in more than the lake was does so that's another con about the um stub it burns a quicker and it's a little harder to clean even when you get food stains on the outside you clean it and you'll still it'll still be this you have to go back in two or three times to clean it um so that's another con but with all that aside i love these pots you can make soups you can bake chicken you can put it in the oven you can put it over the fire uh you can put it on your stove you can put it in the fridge making meat in here like you could do so much with these um pots i've tried making rice in this pot it didn't go well it burned really quick i guess because of the thickness of it so i wouldn't advise you to make any rice in this but apart from that everything else like this thing is a one-man show like it does everything right almost everything but it does so much and i love these pots they are worth the price i believe and i have the large cast iron um pan that i use for like frying stuff love that one so i use it like i use it for everything um so i would definitely encourage anybody that love cooking to definitely get into these cast iron pots and pans it's it's worth it okay you could declutter a lot of your pots you use in your home and just have these and it will go a long way and you probably don't have to repurchase pots and pans if you're the end is safer because it doesn't have half of these chemicals that non-stick pots and pans have um so yeah that is that is my take and my tea and my my um thoughts on the lake rosé and the stuff Pot. Thank you for watching this clip. For the full video, don't forget to tune in on Sundays for the full experience of Issues of Life.